Today's horror comic dub and narration is Biology 101 from the horror anthology Black Hole. If you enjoy the story at any point in time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this chilling tale. It was so weird. It happened in my third period biology class. That day we got divided into groups of two because we were all going to be dissecting frogs. I lucked out for once and I got Chris as my lab partner. Chris Rhodes, she was a total fox. All the other girls were squealing and stuff and the guys were sort of taking advantage of the situation and putting on, you know, the whole tough guy act. I guess I was trying to do the same thing. I went ahead and pinned the arms and legs down. You know, like you were supposed to. Then, just when I started to cut it open, that was when it happened. As the skin opened up, a bunch of formaldehyde spilled out. You could see the guts through the slit that I had made, and they looked all hard and white. I froze. I can't explain what happened. It was almost like a deja vu trip or something. A premonition. I felt like I was looking into the future, and the future looked really messed up. Keith? Are you okay? Chris called after seeing the anxiety that plagued my countenance. But I just couldn't comprehend it. It was like I was looking at a hole, a black hole. And as I looked, the hole opened up. I could feel myself literally falling forward, tumbling down into nothingness as all kinds of strange imagery whirled around in a moment at once. This dreaded sight was enough to drive any sane person insane. That was when my classmates noticed me too. Hey, what's the matter? Are you okay? For a while, I was just floating. I was in this totally black place. It was kind of spacey, but it felt nice. Nice and safe. Then, it was like things started pushing into the blackness. Voices. Blurry shapes. And the next thing I know, I'm looking at all these faces. Mr. Fulner was saying something. Back up! Give him some air! Keith, what happened? Are you alright? I must have passed out. I was lying on my back. He... he just kneeled over Mr. Fulner. Kaboom! You should have seen the look on his face. I didn't say anything. I felt like a total dipshit. He must have wimped out. Look at the frog guts. Yeah, what a pussy. <laughs> that day, everybody was laughing their heads off. Laughing at me. Everybody. Except for Chris. She wasn't even smiling. Hi everyone, thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this little tale because it took a little bit of time to make. If you enjoy this sort of content, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel? I narrate all kinds of other horror manga, manhwa, comics and so much more. Or if you'd really like to support me, why don't you consider joining the rest of my wonderful patrons on Patreon where you'll get exclusive access to my Junji Ito horror manga dubs and narrations, 
the ones that I had previously narrated on my old channel, before it was unfairly terminated. Now, I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to James Abel, Banger Prophecy, Motosurf, and Dennis Cork. I appreciate you all so much for your kind donation and for supporting the channel, but I'd like to take this time to thank each and every one of you that always take the time to comment on the video, like the video, and most importantly, watch the video. A storyteller is nothing without someone who is willing to listen, so I appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoy this format, don't forget to let me know in the comments below or suggest other stories that you'd like to hear. Thank you very much for listening, and remember, you are important and you matter. Have a good night everyone, goodbye.